welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, Chef Domi, mm -hmm. we've got so many chicken um, menu, uh, dishes rather on the menu. So you've got something sweet for us. Yes, Balisa, we needed to add a bit of extra flavor to this um, array of dishes today. So we're doing making a delicious ginger pudding with some custard. Oh, I mean, when it comes to desserts, we want it hot, we want it sweet, and we want it warm, both for the belly and the heart. So today we're doing just that by making a special ginger pudding served with some creamy clover classic custard. And on that note, do we, yes, before we girl. get into it, you know, I just want that money shot. That I money want shot, to Bally. see, essentially, oh. this clover classic oh, custard, that. decadent, that. good for any dessert. Any, any dessert, Balissa, it's just beautiful. You can serve it on top, you can put it inside your desserts. It's actually perfect. And to get started with our dessert, Bali, what I've got over here is I'll be making the sauce. Mm. So this sauce starts off with some bit of, a bit of butter, some um, dried ginger, preserved ginger, some treacle sugar, as well as some cream and some ginger beer. That all goes into the sauce that we're gonna serve this uh, pudding with. And then, Chef, you've got the actual pudding. That yes, I've got the right? pudding. I've got the actual pudding. I'm making, it's like a nice batter. So we've just got some flour, um, some uh, self-raising flour, and some additional bicarb just to give, give it more lift. Yeah. Then we've got our um, molasses sugar here. We've got some treacle sugar as well. And then just to give it a nice ginger kick, we've got some ground ginger. That's going to go in there. Mm. So that's our dry ingredients. Let's just mix those up together. Now, Chef, you mentioned two different types of sugars that I personally am not familiar with. Do you, I'm not quite sure how they add or, you know, well, add another dimension to this recipe. Okay, well, they're, they're, they're unrefined sugars, so they've got a, a, a much more dark, almost licorice-y kind of flavor to it. So they add a nice richness to the pudding as opposed to using just normal ground sugar. Beautiful. And also they add to the color as well. So now we're gonna add our three eggs. You've got the dried preserved ginger for us, Balissa, and you're going to be chopping it nicely into the pudding that Chef is going to be making because, yes, we called it a ginger pudding. We've got the powder in there, but it's so beautiful to bite into a chunk of ginger when you're Lovely. having a dessert of this kind. You know? And that glacé ginger is nice and sweet as well, mm. and it really be a nice little surprise chunks in our pudding. <laughs> so when it comes to these bite-sized pieces of this preserved ginger, how big or small should I have? I would it? say this you could probably do the same. Well, have a taste and tell... The, the best thing to do would be to taste it mm. and see what you think. How how much of that would you like to bite into? Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Lovely, huh? Woo! Mm. But then the fireiness <laughs> almost comes oh, yeah. in immediately. So, okay. I'm so glad you just told me just to have a taste because it's going to need to be a little smaller. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Spot on. Woo! <laughs> As I'm kicking my, my everything into action, into gear here, as I keep chopping, Dumi, how far are you on that side? I'm just, I've just added our ginger as well in here, Palissa, with that molasses sugar. And I mean, what, you're busy enjoying that ginger, but isn't it beautiful to know that you can still get so much nutrients in a dessert because yeah. you've got the ginger powder, we've got the preserved ginger, and we've got this ginger beer. So just knowing that you're still getting all those mm -hmm. uh, nutrients in there. It's, it's a lovely wintry flavour as well. It's beautiful. Yeah. So into the sauce, before I add everything else, we want to make sure that the sugar dissolves. And then into that, I'm going to go in with my cream and then finish it off with some ginger beer. Beautiful. And this sauce, together with our, our custard balisa, just takes this dessert to a whole other level. Okay. Now okay, so what I've done is I've added my eggs, then I've added some buttermilk and some melted butter, mm -hmm. and now I'm just folding it in the, the fabulously expertly chopped <laughs> chunks of ginger that are going to make this dish what it is. I'm going to add this batter into my greased molds. We've just given a little spray with a, mm -hmm. a little bit of spray and cook. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to pop a nice dollop into each one. Bala, so you remember last week we made a... Um, a self-sourcing dessert. Yeah. So this could also work like that, a self-sourcing pudding where we poured the sauce on top of the dessert. So oh, in yeah. this instance, because we've got, we're making the sauce as well, so instead of waiting to pour it at the very end, you could also do it now where you pour it into the mold before it bakes, and that makes it all nice and gooey and juicy in the center. And you notice we're not filling the molds up because it is going to rise up in the oven. And we don't want it to mushroom out, we want it to look nice and sexy. Mm -hmm. so, so we're just about two thirds of the way of our mold. There we go. And this is pretty much good to go. Now, Chef and Dumi, when this does go into the oven, for how long and what temperature? I think I've got a little bit of an inkling, though. I think it would, it's safest to go for right 25 to 30 minutes okay. because of the type of recipe we're saying. But obviously, one thing I can say, if you're going to be making a self-sourcing um, uh, pudding again, what you would then do is put it in a bain-marie so it gets nice and steamy yeah. in there. And err on the side of caution because this is rather have it a little bit doughy and a little mm -hmm. bit sticky than overcooking and it drying out. Because Beautiful. This, this it's perfect on its oh. own. 
Now, while Chef enjoys his batter, <laughs> this sounds absolutely delicious. I love the fact that Dumi has already prepared its own sauce that we can create and, and, and add to the texture in this dish. But I'm also loving the fact that we're using Clover Classic Custard because it's beautiful to enjoy as an accompaniment to any dessert because it's so versatile, but it's also delicious on its own. Dumi, enjoy that. Now, to get that recipe, just head over to afternoonexpress.co.za. So, we've had classic fashion from Timby, classic cars, thanks Chad, and we've seen classic hairstyles. And you, Michael? Classic. A classic range from Clover. Timeless taste. Made with love by Clover.